what's up YouTube so it's been quite a while since I made a video about a month's time so I figured I'd give this video as an update to what's going on so as you know or as you see in the title description I've passed my um, my um, license exam to general which means I can now get on HF bands which is really exciting um, we're still going to be doing more satellite stuff on the YouTube channel. The biggest problem is the days that I have off from work or I have time to do those type of things haven't lined up with satellite passes that we can work. So that's just been a lot of bad luck. I just haven't been able to um, uh, do it at the times that we need to. There is a pass coming up tonight at around 8 o'clock on SO50. It might be too dark outside to do it. Might give it a try anyways. Um... But, yeah, I'm really excited about getting on HF, and I wanted to make this video to update you guys on what's been going on and show you my rig, my little bug out box, and uh, kind of just update you on what's going on. So, first, I just want to thank everybody for 700, 700 subscribers. Uh, that was a really cool milestone to make. I didn't expect this channel to kind of get as popular as it has, um, but I just want to... Thank you guys for all that support. Thank you for all the constructive criticism and the corrections and the comments when I get stuff wrong. Um, anyways, you know, I really appreciate that and it really motivates me to keep making these videos. With that said, I am now upgraded to uh, general, which means the, the direction of YouTube channel is going to focus a lot more toward digital HF modes uh, and experiments which, with um, HF. The rig that I, I did get, which I will show you guys, is the 450D, FT450D. It's a YAC radio. Um, pretty much has all the bells and whistles except for a waterfall display. And uh, it seems to be a great beginner's rig. The problem right now is I don't really have an antenna for it. I have some that are ordered. They should be in within a week, hopefully. Um, and I also live in an apartment. So part of the video challenge is going to be um, trying to figure out how I'm going to put up some of these antennas. So the first thing that I have is um, a dipole. I don't, I don't know how this is going to work, and more than likely there's going to be videos on it. But somehow we are going to get an HF antenna out, outside so we can play with our radio. Don't know how it's going to work yet. Still working on the logistics, but it's going to happen. Uh, with that said, like I said, we're still doing more satellite work. Uh, I still have my Aero 2 antenna. I don't know if you can see it in the video here behind me. But I just wanted to show you guys my HF rig and um, my little bug out box that I've made and update you on what's going on. Um, I'm trying to make a pump out a few videos here in the next three weeks because the mid June I'll be going on a military exercise for a few weeks where there may be a few videos coming out because I'm going to bring my HF radio out to the field with me and um, if we get some downtime. Might be able to wire up an antenna and do some work out there in the field. So that'll be really exciting if I can do that. Anyways, I'm just going to show you guys my radio and just wanted to update you on what was going on. So this is the, uh, the bug out box or the transportation container that I'll be using for the radio and some batteries. Um, the case is on courtesy of my lovely girlfriend who got this for me uh, from Harbor Freight for her anniversary. But... Let's go ahead and show you guys what's going on with it. So basically, on the inside here, I have a 12 volt, 35 amp battery, and I think it's 12 volt, 10 amp battery here. It's all cushioned in with some foam. Haven't figured out what to do with these wires yet, so they're just kind of pushed in there. The cool part right here is this. This is what I'm really excited about. So this is the uh, HF or the TF. The FT 450D, and I'm not really going to power it on right now. I just want to show you guys uh, kind of my setup here. But this will be the carrying case that I use when I do bring it out to the field. This is the radio, and uh, I might make a video here once I get um, everything set up here with the antennas and such, so I can show you guys a little bit of work on it. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to get this thing going. Uh, I'm really excited for this whole system here. The dipole hasn't came yet, but it's going to go into another toolbox once it does. And I am really excited to get on HF, like super excited. I really wish my antennas would get here, because all I want to do 
is get on HF. Anyways, that's the kind of content that we're going to be seeing forward because, uh, you know, the progression of the YouTube channel. It wasn't going to stay on two meters forever. We still are going to do satellite work, um, but this opens up a whole nother world of opportunity for us to, um, to do. So I'm really excited about that. And, um, yeah, I look forward to a lot of cool stuff in the future. If you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. There's going to be a lot of good content on the way. And 73.